2016-17 has been a great year. We've done several things. We are monitoring students' progress by offering assessments as guidelines for teachers and students. We are primed to be, inshallah, one of the only schools in Orange County to actually be a lighthouse school. A lighthouse represents hope and it represents safety. And so a lighthouse school is an accreditation that's given by the Maine Leader and Me organization, which basically certifies that we have met all the requirements. We'll be the only Islamic school in the nation with that accreditation once it's received at the end of this year, inshallah. New Horizon was the only option for, for our children that we believed would provide a, a progressive uh, environment that fostered an American Muslim identity. As a first grade uh, teacher, I observed the New Horizon students to be really proud American Muslims. I can tell that they're so comfortable in this environment that it's like a second home to them. When you drop off your children at school, are they in a safe environment? When I drop off my children here at New Horizon, I know that they're in good hands and they're in a very safe environment. Something very important and valuable for, for me to kind of see it coming from New Horizon is the, is the celebration of the individuality of the kid. New Horizon students are silly, fun, full of life, smart, bright. They're full of passion, they're full of such amazing questions. Great leaders, beautiful inside and out. Um, New Horizon students are amazing. I think parents, when they choose New Horizon, they're looking to not sacrifice academics. They want their child to succeed. We take that very seriously. The SLC and the sixth graders also took part in going to Islah in South Central LA that gave them a hands-on real-life experience in interacting with those who have less than they do. And it was a life-changing experience for them. So much so that now we're moving to a long-term project with Hearts of Mercy. The kids were dealt with a challenge to come up with their own passion project and they created proposals. They cannot wait to find out how their project is going to be taken and how it's going to be implemented school-wide. It was just awe-inspiring. This year again, our NHPA uh, put up Ms. Mona Hijazi. She was recognized as the top 25 from OC Parenting Magazine. I really would like to start by saying thank you to NHPA. I am truly grateful for the nomination, which I really would like to share it with my colleague. Each one of us worked so hard to make the school great, and I have enough passion in my heart to share this with my students and with my community. I've had the privilege of being here at New Horizon for quite some time now. The level of compassion and love and affection that these kids have for each other is mind-blowing. And for me, above everything else, above the strong academics they have, for example, but for me what stands out is their compassion for each other and their lifelong relationships that they form together. What I like about the school, it has uh, just a perfect balance between academics, religion, culture, language. So this year uh, I was awarded a Klingenstein Fellowship um, which is a fellowship that's awarded to about 20 heads of school in the world uh, to have an opportunity to do research in Columbia University in New York. Um, I was very humbled to be uh, chosen to participate in that this year. I had a chance to select a research topic and I chose the topic of a two-campus model for a school to prime us in preparation for the upper school campus once it's open. So all of you have heard about the fact that New Horizon is expanding and growing, right? Yes. And that we're building an upper school campus so that we can house, inshallah, the fourth grade through eighth grade. So what I have here is the model of the upper school campus. Do you want to see it? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, we'll likely have lots of clubs and programs specifically directed to the uh, teenage uh, age group. Um, so I wanted a sense of what are the potential benefits that would be had from a two-campus model and also to see what are the potential pitfalls that we may face so that we can know them in advance and hopefully circumvent them as we move forward. 
New Horizons campus is growing and um, what an experience that's going to be for our students. This campus will be a preschool through third grade in Law, and the upper school campus will serve fourth through eighth grade. It's so important that we have this upper campus because it's happening in the, the pivotal years of our children. New Horizon was a great foundation. If I had the opportunity to build more on that foundation, it would have only made me stronger. So for the kids that are lucky enough to go on to the upper campus, they're gonna have a really bright future, I can assure you that. The biggest benefits of having my third graders go to the upper school campus is just that I see them growing and blossoming throughout their academic career and turning into early adulthood. Normally we would see them up until sixth grade and then they would find their way to whatever middle school they're going to. Too, but it's so exciting to know that these kids are going to be with us for a few more years and I get to see how they've grown and how they've progressed academically, socially, all of these things and really see them becoming the adults that are going to be the next leaders of our Ummah and the leaders in our community. Many of us have had these discussions with our friends in the community about when are we going to have a JCC of our own and so on. The idea is well, do you invest in a massive project like that, or do you start small and then grow as the community builds and supports it? Maybe it's time that our community has something more. One of the most important visions of the Upper School Campus really has to do with the notion of creating a community center. We really took into consideration that we want to be able to be a host site for community events religious, social, the upper school campus, um, inshallah, will be that space. So whether you're planning to enroll your kids at New Horizon or not, this should be something that our community should stand behind. I'm really excited about the upper school campus because uh, it's, uh, it's been the missing piece. It's uh, really critical to, uh, to give without hesitation, uh, as, as much as people can, because it's really going to a great cause. We've currently raised about 65% of our goal, and while that's laid a great foundation, there's still a lot that needs to be done. For every dollar you give, that dollar's matched, so it's almost as if you're giving double. So really think about that when you're deciding on how much you want to give, and that can really take us to the finish line. As parents, especially as Muslim parents, we are entrusted with passing down the legacy of our religion. I think um, investing in children and the future of our children here in the United States is also a top priority for every Muslim. Donate to the school. This is, you're not donating just for New Horizon, per se, for this one project. This is the ultimate sadaqah jariyah that you can provide. Whether your children go to the school or not, you will be rewarded. It's an investment that's well worth, well worth it from all aspects. We have everything primed and ready. We have the building design. We have our approvals from the city. We have a contractor that's been selected. And we've raised a good amount of seed money. We're in the process right now of getting a construction loan so that we can ground break and begin the building. I believe when people donate to New Horizon, they're donating to the long-term future of Muslim Americans in general. We're hoping to not have to carry a loan and that we are able to continue the momentum generating the funds so that we can have this project debt-free and really invest all of our money then in the program and in the kids moving forward. And this is an investment that goes far beyond this world. So this is an investment that will continue on to pay in the hereafter. And I think that is something that we need to take really serious and take to heart. You will see that this will be something that um, will spark the imagination, I believe, too, of our community on a national level. I don't know of another project that's this scale and that's done with this kind of intention and this kind of vision for it to be a state-of-the-art, world-class uh, space for our community. There really just isn't anything like it in the nation. When I think of um, being a part of something like New Horizon, inshallah, wherever I am in this world, I will benefit from, in my lifetime, inshallah, and in the hereafter, anything that I've put in to these beautiful children and whatever they produce afterwards. I'm sorry. <laughs>